Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thanks so much for returning. So today's video is a Walmart grocery haul. So I just had a bunch of items delivered. So I'm just gonna go through everything I got. Some of these items are just like the weekly household items that we use and need. And then other items will be going into my prepping pantry. So I'm just gonna hop straight into the video. Okay, y'all, so the first item in the haul is this pound of deli salami. I'm sorry, not deli salami, pepperoni. So it was $7.47, and again, that is a pound. And then I got two half a pound of turkey. So I normally get one pound of the same kind of Cracker Barrel turkey, but I decided to try another kind today as well. So this is half a pound for $3.49. And then I also picked up, I think it was like the Butterball brand deep fried turkey. So that was $3.66 for half a pound. The next item I picked up was two of the 36 count on eggs. So each carton has 18 eggs and I picked up two of those and the price was $3.28. So the reason I picked this up instead of picking the box up, it was like solely for like storage reasons. Like my refrigerator has so much stuff in it and um, the big box, I don't know, just that big old cardboard box, it's a lot to deal with. I feel like there's only one spot I can put it in in my refrigerator. So um, it becomes like a hassle a lot of the times when I go to pull it out. So that's why I decided to go back to these smaller packs. All right, you guys, so the next item on the haul is this heavy whipping cream, just a great value brand. Um, it doesn't look like I wrote the price on there, but I reckon it's probably just a couple of dollars. I've been buying this lately because I've been making homemade biscuits. Believe it or not, y'all, I learned how to make homemade biscuits. Thanks to Granny Karma's recipe, I made my first set of homemade biscuits last week. So, um, yeah, I was really proud of myself and pretty impressed. So, if you guys don't know how to make homemade biscuits, she has a two-ingredient biscuit that is awesome, or recipe that is awesome, and my biscuits were really, really good, y'all. So, thanks to Granny Karma. Also picked up more sour cream. I told you guys we always go through sour cream, so that was 92 cents. I also picked up this lime juice. So it's a small little container. I thought it was gonna be bigger. I actually need to get better about reading the full descriptions when I'm ordering online. Um, but this, it's not a big deal because I don't use the lime juice a whole lot, but I will keep like a bottle or so in the house. This is being used for a copy copycat Chipotle recipe. I also picked up another container of butter. So this was $2.74. I think I said in a previous haul I had a ton of butter, but I've been going through butter a lot lately too. So this has four sticks. So that's why I picked that up. It will go into the freezer. Also picked up these two rolls of the cinnamon rolls with the icing. Each, each pack was $1.22 and it contains eight rolls. Also picked up more cream cheese. This is just a great value brand, just a plain cream cheese. Um, one of my daughters uses it. Well, actually two of them use it on their sandwiches. So I picked that up for them and it was $1.53. Moving along to the vegetable oil. So I picked up a couple of these. Um, I picked up vegetable oil and then I picked up two containers of the canola oil. And this is just a nonstick cooking spray. It's $1.53. I also picked up this Pompeian um, grapeseed oil. This is $4.88 and it is a smaller container. Um, it's a 24 ounce, but that's what it looks like, y'all. I also picked up two jars of the Betty Crocker frosting. So I went through a couple of them. So this is just a replacement that will go into the prepping pantry. This is $1.50 for each one. Let me show y'all my bread. So this is a 12 count of the ballpark hot dog buns, or excuse me, hamburger buns, $2.78 for a 12 count. And then this is the Wonder Bread. This is a six count. I've had this in a previous haul as well. Each one of these packs costs $3.22. And then I also picked up two loaves of the Sara Lee bread. I normally get the bread, the same bread from Sam's, but because I didn't go to Sam's and I needed bread in the house, I placed the order for two. So you can see they are two different sizes, but they were out of stock. So they just gave me another smaller pack. And I don't have the price on there. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so I also picked up some Southwest hot sauce and then I picked up the honey mustard sauce. We go through sauces in this house like pretty quick. So I haven't bought either one of these, the Great Value brand, so I decided to try them. I believe each one was 92 cents, I think. Don't hold me to that, y'all. I didn't write the price on there. Also picked up the Italian dressing and then I picked up two of the Ranch um, Classic dressings and 94 cents. Oops, sorry about that. 94 cents and that's the size bottle for each one of those. I also picked up two of the tomato paste and I only got the little tiny cans just because I don't use it a lot. So this brand was the same size as the generic brand. So I went with the six ounce and that was 72 cents and I picked up a couple of cans. 
Okay, I'm gonna stay up there, y'all. Also picked up four cans of the Great Value Cream of Chicken, and these are 50 cents a can in my store. And I also picked up four of the Cream of Mushroom. So I also, um, I also added to the cart the Great Value brand of the Cream of Mushroom Soup. However, it was out of stock, so this was a substitution. So I got it for the same price, which was 50 cents for four cans. So I was happy about that. And another item I picked up was the Progresso Chicken and Homestyle Noodles. And this was $1.58 for each can. And I picked up four of those. So I got the Chicken and Homestyle Noodles. And then I got two of the chicken, just a regular traditional chicken noodle. The next item of the haul is Hunt's. I got Hunt's pasta sauce, meat flavored. And I just picked up four of these. And y'all, I think these were a dollar. I'm pretty sure they were like 98 cents or a dollar, something like that. And I always pick those up in my haul. It's like the brand that I like. I mean, I do use other brands, but this is one of my favorite brands. Also, I decided to pick up Jello just because I can put it in the prepper pantry and it's a snack that the kids can have. So um, I got a couple of these boxes, 72 cents each for the orange and the cherry. And then I picked up the vanilla pudding and I think I got the Great Value brand, but they were out and I got two of these. So they just gave me the Jello brand in place of that. And I think these were 50 cents. I think these were 50 cents, y'all. And then I picked up the Pure Vanilla Extract. That was $3.66. This is a Great Value brand. I've never purchased a Great Value brand for um, vanilla extract before, so I'm hoping it's pretty similar to the McCormick. Y'all, the McCormick in my store was $8 and some change, and I'm like, I don't know if I feel like paying $8 and some change on an item that right now I'm only using, I have one use for it right now. Um, I really just got it to put in a French toast recipe that I'm going to make. So, yeah. I also picked up two packages of the Folgers. And I told you guys in a previous haul that these were a dollar a piece. And they come with seven um, little sticks that you, you know, pour into your water and you have instant coffee. I decided to go ahead and pick up two more of the McCormick All Just Gravy. Um, I needed these. I like to keep them in the house at all times anyways just for a recipe that I use. Well, there's actually a couple of recipes that require this. So that's why I picked up the All Just Gravy. And then I picked up a couple of packages of the Martha White uh, Muffin Mix. So the chocolate chip, chi uh, the chocolate chocolate chip, and then the chocolate chip. So I am missing one of those. I don't know if they kind of just forgot it at the store, but I did have two of these and only one showed up and these were each 88 cents a piece. These are the ones that I'm having to replace a lot. Everybody in the house really, really likes these. So, um, I find like out of all the flavors that we have and um, varieties that we have, these are the ones that get used the most. Also picked up two more um, two more boxes of the Great Value Spaghetti. These are the four one pound individually wrapped packages that I showed you guys in a previous haul. That's what they look like. And again, they are $2 each. So I paid $4 for all those boxes, y'all. I think that's a really, really good deal. And then I decided to pick up the Zatarans just because we used um, two boxes the other day. So this is a replacement that's going back into the prepper pantry. It is a family size box and each box costs $1.96. Let me move over here to the Golden Grams. So y'all, my husband prefers the generic brand. Um, I forgot the, the brand that I buy for the Golden Grams. Um, but he likes it better than the actual name brand Golden Grams. But I saw that they had the retro recipe and the, I guess the honey is back. So I decided to pick these up for him. And this was $3.64 for a family size box. Of course, y'all, if the kids want some, they can have some. But I'm just saying that he wanted that. So I got it for him. I got two boxes of the elbow noodles and these are each two pound boxes and each box costs $1.12. And I picked up um, a package. I know I have a lot of rice, y'all, but I picked up the um, basmati. Basmati? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I picked this up, and this is $3.93. It is a smaller package. It's only a two-pound package. Um, I picked this up, again, for the copycat Chipotle recipe that I'm going to make. Um, hopefully, it comes up good comes out good but yeah um it required basmati rice i'm sure i could have used a regular rice but i just kind of try to stick with it just because you know the closer to the recipe the better also picked up this martha white yellow cornmeal mix so this was a dollar 36 cents and it's like coming out of the package and everything so it's like all over the table this was another item y'all is it's teeny tiny i mean compared to this package that's what it looks like. But again, that's what happens when you don't read 
um, the instructions. So it's a little messy, but not a big deal. It's a dollar thirty six cents. Then I picked up more of the Martha White Self Rising Flour. This is what I've been using to make my biscuits, and this is a five pound bag, and it was two dollars and thirty eight cents. And this stuff is getting everywhere, y'all. So just bear with me. Also picked up Pillsbury Best All Purpose Flour. Um, this is just a ten pound bag, and this was four twenty seven. And I just like to have a variety with my flowers, like both store brand and then like the name brand, just because I know certain recipes, it's, it can make a difference. So that's why you're probably like, why am I, why do I have so many flowers and all that? That's why. Just preference, really. So this is a pure cane sugar. This is four eighty four, dollars and this was a 10 pound bag. And that's what it looks like. And then I have the Walmart um, Great Value brand all-purpose flour. This was $2.24, and this is a 10-pound bag. So that's what that looks like. I also picked up a bag of the Checkers fries. So we don't have one near where we live now. So um, it is $2.57, and I picked up that bag. It won't last long at all, but I was just really wanting some Checkers fries. So $2.57 for that bag. And then this is the first time I've seen this, y'all. It is a Pillsbury corn muffin mix. And, oh, y'all, look at Pilly. He is so cute, y'all. I think he's the cutest little guy. But, <laughs> anyways, I picked up four boxes of these, and they are $0.44. Cents. So, let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this and what you think. I also decided to pick up some of the Krusty's, Krusty's um, Wild Blue Blueberry Muffin Mix. And then I picked up the cinnamon swirl crumb cake and muffin mix. Each one of these boxes were two fourteen. I have never picked up this brand far as the muffin mix before, so um, I've heard great things about their pancake mix, and I think I have some in the house. So I decided why not try that. And then the next item I picked up was a cinnamon applesauce, great value brand, one twenty three for six that come in the pack. So I got a total of four packs of those. Y'all, I did not realize how fast we went through applesauce, and mainly it's my, my little guy that goes through these a lot, but um, we had quite a few in the house, and we've gone like through all of them. We do have the bigger jars, but these are like really convenient a lot of the times just to use. Also picked up a couple of containers of the apple juice, and this is a 64 um out so it's like your traditional bottle size and you can't beat it y'all because it was 98 cents for that okay y'all so i also have a couple of containers or packages of the gatorade so this gatorade was supposed to be this size um but they were out of them so they substituted it for this size and that was 498 and then i paid 598 for i think this is a 12 pack and again the smaller bottles you guys i think you can tell from seeing there all right, you guys, so the last item of the haul is this distilled vinegar. This is a great value brand. Each one broke down to $1.64, so this was a replacement. I originally got the white, um, what, the White House brand? I think that's what it's called. I'm drawing a blank right now. But this was a substitution, and it wasn't really a great substitution because I really got less than I would have got with the other one, but it's not a big deal. This is 64, and the White House, I had two jugs that were each 128. So they replaced it with three jugs that are each 64. So not a big deal, but yeah, at least I have that. And I use distilled vinegar, like, or I don't know why I'm calling it distilled. The distilled is throwing me off, y'all. I use vinegar around the house a lot, and just so you know, it has multiple uses, but mainly I use it like when I'm dealing with my food, especially my chicken, like I clean my chicken with it um, mostly, so yeah, I need to get more of that in the house, and y'all, I think that is the end of the haul. So I just want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified each time I upload. And I will see you guys soon.